We've all been there. You're 17, you've just got your license and you're standing at the service station looking at all the pumps with all the different colors and numbers and you're thinking, maybe I should put 98 in my car because that's the highest number, which means it's the best fuel and I do drive my car really hard. Well, if that's you, stick around and I'll tell you why you're probably just burning your money. So, what is the number on the fuel pump anyway? The number on the fuel pump is its octane rating, which is its resistance to knock. Knock is when the air fuel mixture ignites before the spark plug fires. When an internal combustion engine is running correctly, the spark plug fires as the piston reaches top dead center, which is when the piston is right at the top of the cylinder. This causes the fuel to ignite and pushes the piston back down, creating power. When you have knock, that's not what's happening. So what is knock? Well, knock is pre-ignition. This happens because as you compress the air fuel mixture, it actually heats up. The atoms get all bundled up together and they're bouncing off each other, giving each other energy. So it heats up. It can actually heat up so much that it ignites before the spark plug fires, which means the explosion is happening before the piston has reached top dead center. So the explosion is slowing down the piston coming up rather than pushing the piston down, creating power. This causes excessive stress on the pistons and crankshaft and generally your whole drivetrain. And if that doesn't actually cause engine failure or any engine damage, it still means that your car is running much less efficiently. Now this might make you think, well, I should probably be putting 98 in my car then because it's the highest octane rating. So I don't want to be running my car less efficiently and I don't want to be causing damage to my engine. That's what I'll put in the car. That would be true if the manufacturer of your car hadn't already spent hundreds of millions of dollars engineering that engine to run on a certain fuel, meaning they've spent a lot of time making sure the compression ratio is right for a certain grade of fuel. And that's the thing that makes the big difference compression ratio. The compression ratio refers to the ratio between the volume of the combustion chamber when the piston is the bottom of a stroke and when the piston is at the top of a stroke. Most engines have a very low compression ratio, which means that they don't generate enough heat through compression to ignite the air fuel mixture without spark plug firing. So why is there a 98 pump then? Well, the 98 pump is there for people with performance cars whose manufacturers have decided to engineer their engines with a higher compression ratio. This means that they gain extra power because they have that higher compression ratio, but would experience quite a bit of pre-ignition if they were to just use regular 91 or 95 like anyone else. So what does that actually mean for you when you're filling up? Well, what it means is check what the manufacturer recommends to put in your car. It'll be on the inside of your fuel filler flap or it'll be in your user manual somewhere. That is what you should run your car on. You don't need to spend any more money and you don't want to spend any less money. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Which could over time cause an engine failure. An onion failure. An onion failure. <laughs> the... the Oh. Okay, what actually causes knock? Well, as you compress the air film, it... <laughs> Turn that off.